wish I could go to Neverland. I could be young forever. I could be a lost boy. A lost boy who's found purpose. Hello, life enthusiasts, and welcome back to Planticum, your go-to channel for plant alchemy and holistic wellness. I am Trisha, your guide on this journey of botanical exploration. Today, we are diving deep into the heart of the botanical kingdom to explore the world's biggest flowering plant family, the Asteraceae. The Asteraceae family is regarded as highest evolved among the Dicotyledons because it contains about 32,000 species, 13 subfamilies and 1900 genera and take the first place in the plant kingdom. It's a family of plants that produces a lot of flowers. These genus names come from the classical Latin word aster, which stands for star and is originated from the ancient Greek. It refers to the star-like form of the inflorescence. You might wonder what dicotyledons are. It's a botanical term that refers to a group of flowering plants. These plants are called dicots because their seeds typically have two embryonic leaves called cotyledons when they sprout. In simpler terms, dicots are plants that start growing from seeds with two little leaves. They include a wide variety of plants like roses, sunflowers and beans. The Asteraceae family is widespread across the globe, with its classification evolving over time through the contributions of many botanists. In the 18th and 19th centuries, figures like Carl Linnaeus and Augustine Pyramus de Candolle laid the groundwork for understanding plant taxonomy. Linnaeus developed the binomial naming system, while the candle made key contributions to categorizing Asteraceae family and other plant families. As botanists explored diverse regions, they encountered a multitude of Asteraceae species, leading to further research and refinement of their classification. Today, Asteraceae is known as one of the largest, most diverse plant families found in various habitats worldwide. Adrian van Royen, a Dutch botanist, described Asteraceae species in 1740. Though he wasn't the first to discover them, his work in plant taxonomy, including the publication of the Flora Leidensis Prodrumus, significantly contributed to early understanding of the family. Subsequent botanists continued to build upon Van Royen's findings, refining the classification of Asteraceae over time. Now lay back and get comfy while I take you on a journey of the flowers. Watch the video of the flowers or close your eyes and imagine this amazing flowering family. First up, we have the radiant sunflower, symbolizing strength and vitality in cultures around the world. In the Caribbean, for instance, the sunflower is revered as a symbol of joy, vitality and abundance, a reminder of the sun's life-giving energy that sustains us all. And did you know that sunflowers were first domesticated by indigenous peoples in the Americas over 3,000 years ago? This flower is actually a pseudentium made up of many small flowers. A pseudentium is a, an inflorescence or you can call it a false flower. Looks like a flower but isn't one. It can be a flower head or composite flower where many small flowers are grouped together to look like one big flower. 
they come in different shapes and sizes, while the individual flowers are often tiny and simple. The syndentium itself can be quite large, like in certain types of sunflowers. The outer yellow petals on the flower head of the sunflower are known as ray flowers and are made up of multiple petals fused together. Next time you look at a a sunflower, look at it closely, in detail. And one single sunflower can have up to 2,000 seeds. That's a whole lot of snacking. There are more than 70 different kinds of sunflowers growing all over the world. The golden angle, the golden ratio. Do you know anything about the Fibonacci sequence? The seeds of sunflowers display a two-dimensional pattern involving the Fibonacci sequence. The seeds of a sunflower form two spirals, called parastichies, one set emanating from the center in a clockwise direction, the other in a counterclockwise direction. And to find out more about the geometry of nature, you can watch the Fibonacci episode here on Planticum Plant Alchemy channel. Uh, so now, let's wander to the next flower of the Asteraceae family, uh, the chamomile. Chamomile flowers resemble tiny daisies with white petals surrounding a yellow central disc. The chamomile plant is very resilient and drought tolerant. The whole plant has a sweet apple-like fragrance and chamomile is known for its calming effects and it's often used in teas to promote relaxation and reduce stress. Chamomile has been used as a medicine for thousands of years, dating back to the ancient Egyptians, the Romans and Greeks. Its delicate flowers are a staple in many traditional herbal remedies still today. And let's not forget all of the essential oils extracted from the chamomile plant. Roman chamomile, German chamomile, all of these are famous essential oil derived from this plant that has been used for centuries. And these oils are beneficial for treating skin irritations and improving skin tone. Also adding a few drops of chamomile to your regular shampoo can help soothe an irritated scalp, uh, enhancing hair health. So, uh, great, great nature. All right, let's continue. And this one, guys, this one is a powerful one. The Echinacea purpurea commonly known as purple coneflower, is another member of the Asteraceae family, prized for its immune-boosting properties. The Native American tribes have long used echinacea to support overall health and well-being. This beautiful flower isn't just a garden favorite, it's been used for centuries for its medicinal properties. One of the primary benefits of echinacea is its ability to support the immune system. It contains the compounds like acanicocytes and polysaccharides, which help stimulate the immune response, making it a go-to remedy for preventing and treating colds and flu. But echinacea isn't just for the sniffles. Its anti-inflammatory properties thanks to compounds like alkamides and caffeic acid derivatives can help ease symptoms of arthritis and promote wound healing when applied topically. You will also find echinacea in antioxidant supplements because it's packed with compounds like flavonoids and phenolic acids which help fight off free radicals and protect your cells from damage. Whether you are looking to boost your immune system, ease inflammation, or just stay healthy, echinacea might be just what you need. But remember though, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new herbal regimen. Another amazing flower is the dandelions which hold magical wisdom, 
whispered by the wind of change. If you listen closely, you will hear the soft promise of new beginnings in each seed's gentle flight. They belong to the Asteraceae family and are scientifically named Taraxacum, which consists of species commonly known as dandelions. Its golden mane dances freely, scattering seeds of hope and renewal with every breeze. The dandelion is more than just a common weed. It's a healer, restoring balance to body and spirit. Its root holds detoxifying properties, gently urging the liver to cleanse. This resilient perennial thrives in parks, in gardens and the meadows. Its yellow flower sits atop a tall stem, surrounded by large, jagged leaves. But beneath its unassuming appearance lies a wealth of culinary and medicinal benefits. Every part of the dandelion, from root to blossom, offers nourishment and healing. Imagine enjoying a crisp dandelion salad, a refreshing dandelion and burdock soda, or the earthy flavor of dandelion root coffee, packed with vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. And let's not overlook its importance to our ecosystem, providing bees and other pollinators with vital nectar and pollen year-round. Some other common flowers known that is included in the Asteraceae family include the daisies, the chrysanthemum, the dahlias, asters, marigolds, zinnias, black-eyed susans, cosmos, the cosmos bipinatus. It's so beautiful, it's magical. All of these flowers are adorning our world, this planet, so beautifully. Are you looking at the flowers? Now it's the blooming season, springtime. Make sure to look at the nods before they are bursting out and enjoy the whole process. This is the beauty of spring season. And apart from the flowers, there's a lot of vegetable derived from this family. The common lettuce. The edible leaves that are eaten in salads. The artichoke, which is a thistle in the family Asteraceae. A thistle belongs in herbaceous plant of the daisy family, which typically has prickly stem and leaves and rounded heads of purple flowers. Celtic cultures believe the thistle symbolizes devotion, bravery and determination and strength. In the Basque region of France, the thistle represents protection and is hung on front doors. And in Romania, the thistle is a good luck charm. Many pagan cultures believe the thistle has magical properties. And then we have the chicory. Common chicory is somewhat woody, perennial herbaceous plant of the family Asteraceae usually with bright blue flowers, rarely white or pink. Native to the Old World, it has been introduced to the Americas and Australia. And then we have endive or endive. You pronounce this as you want, French style or British style. Has a crisp texture and a sweet, nutty flavor with a pleasantly mild bitterness. Then we got the sunchoke, or also known as Jerusalem artichoke, which are tubers that have no actual relation to artichokes and are commonly grown in North America. It's a member of the sunflower family, Helianthus tuberosus. These are just a few examples, as the Asteraceae family is incredibly diverse, containing a wide variety of species with different characteristics and uses. As we marvel at the beauty and abundance of the Asteraceae family, 
Let us remember to honor the wisdom of nature and cultivate a deeper connection to the world around us. After all, in this grand tapestry of life, every plant has a story to tell and a gift to share. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the Asteraceae family. Remember to nurture your connection with nature and embrace the healing power of plant. Until next time, stay rooted in wellness and bloom with intention. This is Trisha signing off from Planticum. Blessings to you all.